So I, I, my head got big and, and I said, well, we don't give, raise my pay, so I might as well go outside and see the world. That's why I left Mediacorp. I thought I, I can take it, but I was wrong. It was a very difficult year for me. Really, there's no meaning in life. Uh, somehow, I didn't know. Actually, family to me is very, very important. But I thought, Divorce is just a piece of paper, but I thought it's nothing. Hi, my name is Peter Yu and I'm 53 years old and I'm in property line. I got a big family, so most of them, when they are not married, we all stay together in one room, like six to eight people in a room. I can remember when I was young, my second sis tied me up behind the door, take out all my clothes and came in and gave me chili party to eat. Can you can imagine how naughty I was? <laughs> I, I don't know what I've done, I really can't remember. The time I was quite young, there's no guidance and and I started to do a lot of funny things, you know, like try smoking, sniff grew, and mix around with a lot of... Uh, that is the kind of freedom that I had. If I can recall, I, I started to work since uh, 11 years old. So one of my classmates, his dad is selling those cocky kick out those kind of meat at this Dustin Hill. So he asked me, hey, why don't you help my dad, you know, to sell? So okay, why not? Then I taste of earning money. You know, at the time, I, I don't know the value of money. Five dollar big or small, I don't know. I just want to have fun, that's all. As a man in the family, I don't have job, I don't have career. So that's where I, I try out property again, but this time round was different. 40,000. That's my commission for just one selling one corner house landed. I got 40,000. I said, my God. I was so happy and, uh, and with that 40,000, that really helped me the confidence. I'm a top rookie in HSR. That was, at the point of time, was the biggest, largest property agency. On the 209, I was 25th of all the people in, in HSR. So, yeah, kind of like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, and then after that, It was a very difficult year for me. Uh, property is going well, but somehow I didn't know. Actually, family to me is very, very important. But I thought, well, divorce is just a piece of paper. I thought it's nothing. I thought I, I can take it, but I was wrong. I started to felt that Really, there's no meaning in life. Yeah, so I start to womanizing, taking drugs, and I start to go around the world, casino and gamble. I started to lose all money, and I go and drop out all the bank, credit cards, whatever, how much I have, just drop out, and I, I lost everything. And I, I can still remember that time I lost my mom also. So that's when I. I cry. I don't know what to do. And I lost my family. I lost, every, I lost everything. No mom, no parents. Nobody loved me. My son died. So I shout, I shout, I say, God, you take my life away. I don't want anymore. There's no point at all. So I just said, you take my life away. You take it back. When I was driving a taxi, 
five calls, video call, asked me to go back and film some of the uh, church call me back to do some uh, wu tai chi and some ask me to do some guang gao. You know how that? What? What's happening? So many years nobody called me to do some filming. I just don't care about how much you're gonna pay me. I tell them, just go ahead, you just pay whatever you think I'm worth. So that is the point my life started to change. When when I do all those projects, you know, then I started to know God is telling me that you have to go out and glorify Him. Not just by staying in church, how to glorify. Not by staying at home, how to glorify. Hey, you have to go out. And of course, my wife, he all along, he has been supporting me. You know, whatever you do, even I don't want. But you always tell me, the important things is uh, be true to yourself. You are unique. You don't have to follow other people. Or, or, or follow their example and enjoy life. Everything's happened for a reason. Just enjoy life.